guys, this is Katie again with another creepy pasta for you all. This one is called Rest Stop. Um, I really enjoy it and I hope you do too. So let's get started. All right. So I'm not one who's into the, the paranormal or the supernatural. I don't believe in ghosts, monsters, aliens, or anything like that. However, I have to write about what happened to me last week because I honestly don't know how to explain it. I work in the sales department for a large company and I'm frequently required to travel. When I have to go out of town for business, I almost always drive. I've always loved road trips and I really enjoy the time alone. It's just me, some music, greasy fast food, and the open road. When I'm on a longer trip, I usually sleep in a hotel somewhere during the daytime and drive at night. There aren't as many people on the road and there's less chances of getting a ticket. It was during my last road trip that I experienced something strange, and honestly, it was the scariest thing that had ever happened to me. I was driving through Texas along Interstate 40. I had left Almeria and was planning to drive through Albuquerque to Flagstaff. Sometime after 1 a.m., I drove through, drove through a small town in Texas called Glen Rio. Glen Rio seemed to either be completely closed down at that time of night, or it was a total ghost town. About 10 miles later, there was a rest stop. As you can expect, it was just your typical dirty rest stop with a few vending machines and a restroom. I figured I'd pull in, use the restroom, maybe grab a candy bar and a soda from one of the machines and continue along the interstate. First of all, there weren't any other cars parked at the rest stop, which isn't unusual outside a small town at that time of night. I parked my car and headed into the restroom. The restroom was dirty, dimly lit, with those stainless steel toilets. There was graffiti on the walls and along the mirrors and that usual gross smell that's unique to a rest stop bathroom. There was nothing more unusual or strange about it than any restroom you'd see at any other rest stop in America. I went into one of the stalls to do my business and that's when I started hearing a strange noise. It has sounded like laughter but it was kind of gargled, almost like someone was laughing underwater. I don't really know how else to explain it. it. It wasn't a loud laughter, it was more of a chuckle. It was only for a moment and then it stopped. Like I said, I'm a very rational person so I didn't even really think much of it. I thought it was probably just a plumbing issue or something. Just before I had finished doing my business, I heard it again, only it was definitely louder this time and I heard it for sure. That gargled laughter coming out at me. The bathroom had several stalls and like I said, it was pretty dimly lit. The sound was coming from the stall furthest down. The stall door was closed and it was the stall with the least amount of light, rendering it almost totally dark. Hello, I said. As soon as I spoke, the sound stopped again. Is there anyone there? Are you all right? There was another sound, almost like someone dragging their feet. Then there was silence. I bent down so I could see underneath the stalls. Now, like I said, there wasn't much light illuminating that particular bathroom stall, but I could tell that there was no one in there. I shrugged and went to wash my hands before heading back out to my car. Just as soon as I was drying my hands, I heard a creak. I never turned around. But behind my reflection in the mirror, I could see the door to that dark stall slowly creeping open on its own. What I saw instantly filled me with the worst sense of dread I have ever experienced. It looked like a man, but I knew that it wasn't. The stall door had opened only just a crack and I could see half of its face. It had a smile, too large for its face, sharp, yellow teeth, dark black eyes, like a doll's eyes and a nose. It was almost gray in color with patches of dirty black hair. I just stared at this thing and it laughed again, right at me. The laugh was different this time. It sounded how the devil must have sound, it sounded if he were to laugh. I ran out of the bathroom like a bat out of hell with that horrible laughter following behind me the whole time I didn't stop and look back and see if I, that thing was following me out of the bathroom until I got to my car. 
I was alone in the parking lot and whatever it was never came after me. I continued my drive and the rest of my trip was fine. I just made it back home yesterday and thought maybe it would help to make sense of things if I wrote it all down. Like I said, I'm a pretty rational person and I don't believe in the paranormal or supernatural, but if you're driving through Glen Rio, Texas, don't stop at any rest stops, just to be safe. Okay. Thank you guys so much again for listening. Um, if you liked it, please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.